Welcome to our lecture online and here is an interesting example related to um, radiation and in particular we're going to talk about condensation. Now all of us have experienced when you leave things out at night that you wake up in the morning, you go to them and they're all wet, uh, there'll be moisture on the top of the car, there'll be moisture on the grass, there'll be moisture on anything you, let, you leave outside. And why does that happen? Well at night when the, the sun goes down and uh, everything is exposed to open space, we get very little, radi very little radiation in from space represented by the little black arrows and a lot of radiation going out into space as objects cool down. And so what happens is as ob objects cool down, that means that the ability, and of course not only objects but also the air, so what happens is that we have like air molecules that will be bouncing up against the surface as the surface cools down because the radiation uh, causing the heat to escape from the surface, the surface cools down, any air molecules hitting that surface will cool down and as they cool down, as the temperature of the, of the atmosphere cools down above the surface, what happens is that the relative humidity increases. So what that means is as the temperature is high, let's say at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the air can hold a fair amount of moisture. But at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, let's say it cools down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the air can no, can no longer hold that much moisture and any moisture in the air that is above what the, what the um, atmosphere can hold will condense. So whenever we get to what we call the condensation point of the, of the atmosphere, water will begin to come out of the atmosphere and begin to distribute itself on top of surfaces. And so that has to do with the relative humidity. If it's, if it's fairly high and the temperature of the air goes down, the moisture will begin to come out of the air. So how can you prevent that from happening? Well, in one case, let's say, and let me get a different color out, let's say that we had a particularly dry day and the relative humidity is much lower. So even though the temperature may go down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, condensation will not appear on surfaces because the temperature is such that the relative humidity stays below 100% and we never get to what we call the dew point. So I, this is called the condensation point or, or the dew point. So we may never reach the dew point. Another thing that we can do to prevent uh, condensations to, to uh, occur on object is to cover them over. Let's say you put a shed over the, the car in such a way that then the energy that gets radiated out into uh, space will hit the shed and then the shed will begin to radiate energy back to the car and therefore keeping the surface of the car much warmer, well relatively speaking, not as cold I should say, than if it was exposed to open space. And if that happens, then the temperature of the car will not drop down <clears throat> to the dew point, so maybe we can prevent the car from getting so cold, maybe it will only be 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we don't get to the dew point, and if we don't get to the dew point, then no condensation will collect on top of the surface. And that's how we can relate condensation to the radiation effect.